So how can I parent objects in Houdini? Creating hierarchical relationships between objects can be quite important when working on complex scenes. Let's demonstrate with a very simple setup. I'm going to come up here and control left click on a sphere. And control C, control V to make a duplicate of that object. We'll just slide him over here to the side. Now let's say that I would like one of these parent relationships such that the center object here is my parent and this guy is my child, meaning that my child will be able to freely move, but if my parent moves, the child will go along with it. It's very easy to set up over here at the scene level, so I'm working with my objects. All I need to do is wire the output of the parent node into the input of who I'm looking at as being the child child node and I'm finished. It's really that simple. So if I come over here and select the child, you'll notice that I can still freely move him. I can, let's undo that, I can rotate him and we're having no effect whatsoever with our main guy. Now, what if, let's say I wanted to move the main guy? What's going to happen to the child? Well, child's going to go along with it because of the hierarchical relationship that is in place. So works just like such. Now let me go ahead and show you another way that we can set up this relationship using the shelf. So I will simply click on the input of the child, click anywhere in empty space inside my network editor. Now I will select my child. Actually to make this even uh, more interesting, let's control C, control V so that we have another object so that I can show you doing two of these guys at the same time. If I wanted to wire, I could simply wire directly from here to here and from here to here, and now this guy is the parent of these two guys. All right, we, we all got the idea, it's pretty simple stuff. But let's take a look at this. I'm gonna disconnect, disconnect, and I'm gonna show you how we can go about using the shelf tool for parenting, and this is pretty easy. All you need to do is select all of the objects that you want to serve as children, and then once you have all of the children selected, you can then come over to the Modify tab. From the Modify tab, come across to Parent, Click on Parent, and since we have objects selected, Houdini is smart enough to know that you simply need a parent now. So down in the bar at the bottom, you'll see we get some help information. It says select the parent object and press Enter to assign. So I'll simply select the parent object, press Enter, and you'll notice over here in our network editor that the links have been reestablished. We now have these connection lines indicating that if I was to come over here and let's go ahead and do, I don't know, we'll do a rotation do a rotation, you'll see that both objects are rotating around their parent, okay? And once again, these guys, if I go and hit T so I have my translate handle, these guys are still completely independent. Now, if I wanted to use the shelf button to unparent one of these guys, or make him no longer a child of the parent, all I need to do is simply select the object, again, from the Modify tab, come across to Parent, click on Parent, and now let's finish reading the helpful information on the bar below. We already saw that all we needed to do was select parent and press enter to assign it, but in this case we are wanting to unassign it, if you will. It says press enter with an empty selection to unparent. Well, we currently have nothing selected, so we do indeed have an empty selection. We will hit enter, and you'll notice that the connection line going to this object has been severed. So this object will no longer be affected. Go ahead and hit S so I can grab this guy. This guy will no longer be affected when this geometry right here is transformed in any way. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in regards to how you go about parenting objects inside of Houdini. And that wraps up this, How Do I?